I'm sorry, is something... Not there. What? Not there. Not, not here? No. Where? There. Oh, right. Sorry. That is the doctor's stool. I'm sorry, I, I didn't realise. As if you'd never been inside a doctor's office. <laughs> As if you didn't know how things work. You're right, I should have known better than to sit on his... His, her! Her, her stool. I apologise, I, I, I don't know what came over me. There. Listen, I, uh, I hesitate to ask this, but... Uh, what? Well, I know you're very busy and this may sound a little childish, but I was wondering if it might be possible for my wife to wait in here with me, in, in the examining room. Your wife? That's right. In here? I know, it's, it's ridiculous, a grown man, but it's just that I, I tend to get a little nervous and, and she, well, she, she has a calming effect on me. She's like a human sedative. <laughs> anyway, she's in the lobby. If you could just send her in, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. She's wearing a green dress with flowers and this. You hat. have to ask the doctor. What? The doctor! The doctor! You'll have to ask the doctor. You, you can't just send her in? No, I'm afraid not. I can give you morphine if you like. <laughs> morphine? That's right. You can give me morphine, but you, you can't fetch my wife from the lobby. We have our rules. Now, I'm going to take your temperature. <laughs> What? I'm going to take your temperature. Right. What? I don't understand. Your pants! Drop your pants! Your pants? Why should I drop my I'm going to take your temperature! Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'd really prefer the other end, if you don't mind. Fine. But it's not nearly as precise. Now, what's the problem? What's the problem? That's right. Look at me! I'm a medical assistant, not a trained physician. It would be best if you told me what was wrong. I've got spots. <laughs> Spots. Yes, spots. And these spots, where are they located? Where are they located? That's right. They're everywhere. 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 Where's my body to carry spots? <laughs> hmm. What? Oh, nothing. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? What, what was the hmm for? The hmm? That's right, the hmm. You said hmm. <laughs> Don't try to deny it. I'm not denying anything. What was it for? The hmm? Yes, the hmm. Well, you have to admit it's a bit suspicious. What's suspicious? Well, you claim to be sick and yet you have no temperature. Do I have to have temperature? No, you don't have to. Aren't there plenty of sick people out there with no temperature at all? That's true, but... But... but it would make things a lot easier on us if you were to show a bit of temperature. <laughs> a good fever is always a good sign that something's wrong. Now, you don't want to make things any more difficult on us than they have to be. Do you? No, no, of course not. I didn't think so. Why don't we give it another shot? Maybe if we try the other what? end this time. No. Why not? What are you trying to hide? What am I trying to hide? What am I? I'm not trying to hide anything. Look at me. Look. My entire body is covered in spots. Spots of every conceivable shape and size. Big spots, little spots, short spots, tall spots. I have a spot the shape of Italy on my back. <laughs> And another one. I know this may sound crazy, but it, I swear it's the Virgin Mary. Where? 
on my, um, on my... On your what? I'm not comfortable talking about this view. I'd like to see the doctor. Are you sure you're not just trying to score some morphine? No! I'm not trying to score some morphine! I never even mentioned morphine! I don't want morphine! The morphine was your idea! Look, I'm a very sick man. There's something horribly, horribly wrong with me. And I've come to you for help. Can't you just help me? Isn't that why you're here? To help me with the sick? <laughs> What are you writing? Nothing. That's, uh, that's an awful long nothing. You know, I can't help but feel that we've gotten off on the wrong foot somehow. I'd like to apologise if I've offended you in any way or, or made your job more difficult. That, that was certainly not my intent. It's just that I'm very concerned about these spots. I'm not normally like this. Normally I'm very relaxed, very laid back. Really. Wash off a duck's back and all that. You can ask my wife, she'll tell you. But these spots, they've they've gotten under my skin. It's it's almost I know this may sound a little crazy, but it's almost like they're alive. Like they've got a mind of their own. They come and go as they please. Pop up in the most inconvenient places. Torment me for a while. Make little pictures. Signs. Sometimes they almost seem to spell out words, and then they vanish without a trace, as if they were never there at all. For weeks, my wife didn't believe me. She thought I'd gone insane. Every time I tried to show her, they'd disappear. But as soon as she turned her back, they'd rear their ugly little heads, twice as many as before. It's like they're toying with me. Little microscopic invaders playing games with my mind. Put this on. The doctor will be with you shortly. Thank you. Listen, I, uh, I don't want you to think I expect special treatment just because of the severity of my condition, but if you could ask the doctor about my wife, I'd really... What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing. You said to put this on. Wait until I leave the room! Oh, hi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Doctor, of course I'm the doctor. But when you were here before, you, you when were... I was here before, but I've only just stepped into the room. You took my temperature. No. Yes. You wanted to try the end. <laughs> that was the nurse, Margot. Margot. That's right. Are you twins? Twins? Not at all. But you look just like her. Oh, don't be ridiculous, we look nothing alike. She's much more attractive. <sighs> now, let's get down to business, shall we? Hmm. All right. Um, I suppose I should have a look then, shouldn't I? What's this? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? You said you wanted to have a look. Right. Here it is. This is your arm. I know. <laughs> what does your arm have to do with... Oh, I see. Well, actually, the idea that the hand size is corollary, it's a myth! 
<laughs> propagated, I should think, by men with large hands. Perhaps I should have a look at the actual member. What? <laughs> the member, you know. I don't understand. It says here that you have a small member. A small member? That's right. That you're suffering from feelings of inadequacy caused by the size of a freakishly small member. Almost microscopic, it says. I'm sure that's an exaggeration. No! I mean, yes, yes, it is an exaggeration. But no, it, it's not an exaggeration because I never said that at all. It's not true, any of it. No? No. You don't have a small member? Not small. I mean, <laughs> maybe not large, but at least average. I have a very average member. I, I mean, it's certainly not a problem. I wonder why she would have written that. I, I Perhaps she misunderstood. I, I have no idea. I mean, all right, I, I admit, I did get the impression she didn't like me very much. I'm sure she wouldn't let that interfere with her professional evaluation. Perhaps she misunderstood. I don't see how that's possible. So there's no problem with your... No, none whatsoever. Would you like me to have a look? No, I, I don't think that's necessary. A quick pee, just for Maybe. good measure? I, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, then, what's the problem? Spots. I've got spots. On your... Uh... Everywhere. And they itch. They're very itchy. At night, I have to wear a muzzle. <laughs> have you got a temperature? No, no temperature. Hmm. What? Is it bad? Hmm. Am I going to die? Oh God, I'm... I'm going to die, right? I, I read in the paper about a flesh-eating virus that, that devoured a man in a matter of hours. And I knew, somewhere inside, I knew that if such a disease existed, I was bound to catch it. <laughs> this is just my luck. I'll be honest with you. I've never seen anything like this before. It's a bit unusual. It could be stress-related, or some sort of terrorist plague. Terrorist plague? Probably stress. You said terrorist plague. I was only joking. I'm sure it's nothing. A little rest and relaxation won't cure. So, it is stress then? That would be my guess. We'll run a few tests. I'll have Margot take some blood. Um, I'll also... Ask my partner to take a look at you, if you don't mind. But I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. But the thing is, my main cause of stress is these spots. <laughs> Before the spots, I had hardly any stress. None at all, really. Normally, I'm very relaxed, very laid back. Wash off a duck's back and all that. You can ask my wife. She'll... Oh, I almost forgot. Did Margot mention, ask about my wife? No. Does she have spots too? No, I, I asked if it might be possible for her to wait in here with me, in, in the examining room. She didn't mention that. It's just that I get a little nervous, you know, and, and well, she tends to have a calming effect. I me. should think that would be fine. Uh, she's in the lobby. She's wearing a green dress with flowers and a little... I'll have Margo fetch her for you. Thank you. Job means nothing to me? 
that I won't fight to protect it? Okay, maybe I should... Sit! Give me your arm. I, I don't think that's such a... Good... Your arm! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh, careful with that thing. Don't be such a crybaby. With a little twist of this needle, I could tear your vein in half. Please don't. Or I could reverse the flow, send an air bubble straight to your brain, and no one would ever suspect it was anything but a terrible accident. Help! Shut up! All right. Listen to me when I'm talking. I'm listening. I don't think you are. I am. I swear. See? <laughs> I don't like to be reprimanded. That bitch questioned my authority. Do you know what it's like? Do you know what it's like to have your authority questioned? Yes, yes, it happens to me all the time. Don't make fun of me. I'm not. Why couldn't you just play along? She, she wanted to see my member. She threatened me with my job, my livelihood. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what I was thinking. It, it won't happen again. All right. I'm going to let you live. Thank you. Thank you. But you owe me. Oh. How much blood did you take? I feel fine. Oh, don't be such a crybaby. There. All the better. Still hurts. Would you like me to kiss it? <laughs> no. Well, don't say I didn't offer. <sighs> oh, by the way, the, the, the doctor said my wife could come back. I know what the doctor said. All right, I'm just. <laughs> Dr. Flynn, she asked me to take a look at you. Oh, you, you look exactly like, uh, I mean, except for the wig. What wig? <laughs> that one, the one you're wearing? This is my natural hair. You like it? It's, it's lovely. Let's have a look. Hmm, just as I suspected. What is it? I have no idea, <laughs> but I suspected as much, so it's really no surprise. What you need is a specialist. A specialist? Yes, someone who's devoted his entire life to studying this sort of thing. And I know just the man. He's a genius, a giant among men. His knowledge of spots is encyclopedic, almost inhuman. Godlike, if you will. They say he's performed a few miracles. Miracle cures, you know. He will no doubt diagnose your disease in a blink of an eye. Well, when can I see him? Never. 
He's booked years in advance, decades, well into the next millennium. I'm kidding. He's one floor up. I'll see if we can swing down and take a look. Thank you. Thank you. That, that would be great. Oh, uh, there's one more thing. Uh, the nurse was supposed to send my wife back. Margot? She's completely incompetent. A real nutcase. We only keep her on because Dr. Flim has a thing for her. Well, do you think you could send her back? Margot? No, my wife. Oh, sure. Where is she? The lobby. Oh, that's too bad. What do you mean? What? What is it? Well, um, I'm not sure I, I, I can tell you this, but there's been some kind of an outbreak. Um, the lobby's under quarantine. An outbreak? What kind of an outbreak? Uh, we don't have all the details yet. Is it serious? Something about a plague. A plague? In the lobby? My God! I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Where do you think you're going? I want to see my wife. Sir, you need to let the professionals handle this. Uh, I'm sure your wife is fine. So far, it's only the old and very young who are actually dying. And a few sickly teenagers. Your wife isn't a teenager, is she? No. <laughs> then I'm sure she's, she's fine. There's nothing to worry about. So just sit down while I place that call to the specialist, and I'll have someone check on your wife. OK. Thank you. doesn't exist! What? Your disease! I've looked in every medical book, every single database, it just doesn't exist! There's no such thing! But surely there must be some reference somewhere. I mean, I can't be the first person ever to have this problem. Every plague starts with one person! <laughs> One little mutated cell. One bad seed. Wait, you're, you're saying the plague in the lobby? It's, it's all my fault? <laughs> it's not just the lobby. The whole building's under quarantine. The whole building? Good Lord. And, and people are actually dying? Dropping like flies. Well, what about the specialist? What specialist? The specialist, one floor up. The one Dr. Flam said. Ha! He's a quack! Some guy she used to bone in college. <laughs> she said he could perform miracles. She said he was a genius. He's a drooling idiot! So he's. he's not. Not even certified. Then there's no hope. Not really. We're all going to die. That's the most likely outcome, yes. And. And it's all my fault. No, no, not at all. OK, yes, I can't lie. I want to see my wife. <laughs> Sorry. I, I told Margaret to fetch her. I told Margaret to send her in. Hasn't she come yet? No. That woman, she weren't so damn attractive. I'd have her fired on the spot. and his tiniest thought. And you are responsible for sending him here. I could kiss you. I could do more than that if you like. What are you doing? 
Don't you find me attractive? Sexually, I mean? Well, I... What about these? <laughs> Do you like these? I, well, um, they're, they're very, uh, nice, but... Nice? Yes. Just nice? I, I, I really don't... I, I, Do you want to touch them? What? No one's looking! The world's coming to an end, you might as well! I, I, shouldn't you be working? I mean, I, I'm sure they need your help with, with the building and the quarantine and all. Oh, it's not just the building! The whole city's under quarantine! The whole city? That's right! And it's not stopping there. The country. The world. Society as we know it. It's unraveling. The thread has been pulled. People are running for the hills. Everyone's dying. There's no food. People are eating their own children. Oh my God. We're going the way of the dinosaurs. It was only a matter of time. I want to see my wife. How right can you now. think of your wife at a time like this? <laughs> Who else should I think of? Oh, fine. She's wearing a... I know, I know, a little green dress with flowers. And a hat that... consider this a fantasy come true. But my wife... Shut up about your wife! Stop living in the past! But, but how can you... God sake, take me! What? Take me right here, on this table! Give me your disease! You want my disease? Yes! I want it! I want to taste death! I want to feel its way pressing down on me, the way of a dying person! I want to hear its soft whisper! I want to take it inside me like a child, nurture it, let it feed on me like a sack of rice, and then find me, open myself up, and unleash it upon the world. A great, sweaty monster of spotted flesh and stinking bodies. Insane! Ah. What's that? Nothing. Have you been in some kind of an accident? Don't speak to him like that! He's a genius! Oh, look! He likes us! He, he can't really be the great doctor, can he? The pinnacle of man's learning? Is it possible this is all we amount to? Mm 
can you understand me? <laughs> hey, are you insane? No, no, hang on. Perhaps, perhaps I'm insane, that's it. He's speaking normally and I've finally lost my mind. I, or no, maybe, maybe we're both insane. Both trying desperately to communicate, but... You're so naughty! What are you doing? <laughs> yes! Don't do that! Oh, I can feel your enlightenment pouring into me! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, stop it! Who is it? Specialist. 